Taco Bell was started by Glenn Bell. But did you know that Bell's Burgers, his initial venture, served hamburgers? Taco Bell is renowned for its excellent, affordable meals with Mexican influences. The well-known fast food company, however, is more complex than first appears. There is plenty to learn from this imaginative and forward-thinking corporation, from its unique Mountain Dew flavors to those inescapably addicting Doritos taco shells. Here are some little yet interesting facts about Taco Bell. Number 1. The founder's first business was a burger joint. Burgers were first what Glenn Bell, the company's founder, served customers. He founded Bell's Burgers, named after his sister, with very little money and went up against the McDonald's brothers. Those McDonald's, yes. However, by the 1950s, he realized he had to leave the burger industry and began experimenting with Americanized Mexican cuisine. Most Americans still didn't like tacos at this point, and the concept of fast food tacos was unheard of. He made them simpler to eat in order to spread them among the public. In essence, he created a crunchy fast food shell and changed the tacos components to fit the preferences of the busy Americans who were his target market. Number 2. He opened his first Mexican-inspired restaurant under a different name. His tacos were an immediate smash and eventually surpassed his burgers in sales. Bell eventually launched his own Mexican restaurant. In 1954, Taco Tia debuted in San Bernardino, California, and started charging 19 cents a taco. Soon after, he launched El Taco, a similar eatery in Los Angeles. On March 21, 1962, he founded the first Taco Bell restaurant in Downey, California. In just three years after becoming a franchise in 1964, Taco Bell had 100 stores. At the end of 2021, the chain will have 7,791 restaurants under the Yum! brand's umbrella. Number 3. Doritos Locos Tacos went through 40 rounds of recipe testing to perfect the shell. The iconic DLT turned out to be far more difficult to implement than the authors had imagined, despite the fact that the concept looked straightforward. CEO Greg Creed wants to create something fresh and cutting-edge for the chain's 50th anniversary in 2012. Out of 30 possible product ideas, a Doritos taco shell came out on top. With tasters, the initial prototype was a complete failure. It lacked the texture or flavor of Doritos chips, which was the key selling point, since it was a taco shell coated with nacho cheese flavoring. Though the other prototypes were too delicate to export, they were crunchy. Finding the right ratio of taco shell durability with the crunch and flavor of Doritos took some trial and error. However, the product emerged in 2012 to great acclaim after 40 recipes and two years of testing, and it has been on the menu ever since. Number 4. PepsiCo created the Mountain Dew Baja Blast exclusively for Taco Bell. To boost sales at the drive-thru, PepsiCo and Taco Bell developed a novel beverage. The soda has become a cult favorite among Mountain Dew drinkers ever since its 2004 release. It has a Mountain Dew and lime taste combination that complements the fast food restaurant's Mexican-inspired cuisine perfectly. The business has also developed limited-time flavors including Baja Flash, flavored with pineapple and coconut, and Baja Punch in addition to the original, Zero Sugar, and frozen varieties that are already offered, a blend of pineapple, orange, and cherry flavors. Number 5. Their most popular menu item is the nacho fries. Taco Bell's combination of nacho cheese sauce with crunchy, crispy chips was a huge success. It was originally published in 2018 and has subsequently been made available on occasion for a short period of time. Garlic, paprika, salt, and onion powder are used to season the fries, 
which combine nicely with the gooey nacho cheese. Number 6. Taco Bell was sued for its Chihuahua ads. Because to the Taco Bell Chihuahua commercials, the expression, Yo Quiero Taco Bell, became quite well known in the 1990s. The Chihuahua became a cultural icon after $500 million was spent on advertising. Disputes began in 1998, but advertising for the character ended in 2000. Number 7. Taco Bell's mascot, Gidget, was in Legally Blonde 2. The Taco Bell Chihuahua herself, Gidget, played the role of Bruiser's mother in Legally Blonde 2, red, white and blonde. She may also be familiar to you from previous Geico advertised. Number 8. The restaurant chain was the first to hire female managers. The restaurant business was the first to recruit female managers, according to former Taco Bell director of operations John Gorman in an interview with Restaurant News. In the beginning, he claimed, there were only male supervisors since there weren't enough of them. They were the first restaurant franchise to recruit women in order to meet demand. Number 9. The Taco Bell Foundation has given away millions in scholarships. Since its establishment in 1992, the Taco Bell Foundation has given out more than $130 million in grants and scholarships. The charity gave $8 million to 772 students in 2022 alone. Taco Bell employees and customers make up the pool of live Moss scholars. For students who desire to contribute positively to their communities, the curriculum aims to tear through obstacles. Number 10. Taco Bell sparked outrage when they announced they'd purchase the Liberty Bell. Although the business has employed various intriguing marketing strategies over the years, none have garnered as much notoriety as their advertisement announcing the purchase of the Liberty Bell. Executives in 1996 started preparing their April Fool's joke a few weeks before the holiday. The vice president of public affairs recalled that the previous year, several national sites had to close due to government budget constraints. He got the notion to sponsor the Liberty Bell from there. On April 1, six major newspapers, including the New York Times and Washington Post, published a full-page advertisement sponsored by Taco Bell's public relations firm. The national symbol would henceforth be known as the Taco Liberty Bell, according to the advertisement, which claimed they had bought it to reduce the national debt. Even though they claimed it was a joke in a statement they issued later that day, thousands of consumers had complained to the National Park Service about the business. The fake not only increased sales over the prior week, but it also netted the business a ton of free publicity when other media sources covered the tale. We're excited to see what the chain will do next with all the inventive culinary alternatives and marketing strategies they've developed over the years. Currently, Taco Bell is offering what is likely some of the greatest Americanized Mexican fast cuisine available. We can't wait to see what they add to their menu next, for sure.